Hello, I welcome thee to my pick. Uh, 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 uh. I've picked Drummers 3, Willie. Because uh, I'm so grumpy. Grumpy Rob, grumping uh, away. Go fuck yourself. Grumpy. Uh, uh. Welcome back to Cinemortuary, the fortnightly look at remakes, sequels, and all things horror. This week, as with every week, I am joined by the hardest man on the planet, Chris Wilson. How are you? (laughs) So tell us what you've been doing in relation to you being hard. This is a preamble. How are you? Yeah, how hard are you? We've done the preamble. All right, well, how are you? Fine. Good. Jesus Christ. Wilson's so on edge. And then, right, yeah. well, he fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and to my right, the most dangerous man alive, the master of disaster, the Kate Duke Walker. of Spook, the, the dog Duke of shock, shock yeah. the man with no tan, <laughs> the man without a plan, oh, Dave Walker. Like, oh, come on, mate, that is a little bit harsh, isn't it? Look what at all these, this this arrangement going on here. I've got my trash bag that's going to go out tomorrow. Yep. I've got an empty bed in anticipation for Wilson's takeaway box. Not anymore, you aren't. Still room in there. Still room in there. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. It's coming in. In your pop. Oh, that was shit, wasn't it? Uh, so, how are you, Dave? What's new? I'm all right, mate. Uh, not much has changed since last episode. Still, no. um, still, still here. Still. Got well, you full of kebab now. So that's all right. Yeah, yeah, full of kebab. It worked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm all good, mate. I'm all part good. of a healthy and balanced diet. Yes, mate. I'm all ready for some uh, aftershocks. To be fair. Oh my god, what, as in the shot aftershocks? Or as in the films? As in some gastric aftershocks. Some gastric aftershocks, mm. you know, have them, yeah. How are you, mate? You alright? I'm alright, mate. Thank yeah. you for asking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wilson didn't because he's rude as fuck. <laughs> fuck you. Like, fuck you too. <laughs> so aggro. <laughs> he's still angry with me for The Exorcist 2. Are, fuck, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. It's right. just, I've just got the squeaky chair, haven't yeah, I? Yeah. Is what it is. It's, it's Man, a better mic neck. you see on there. So all, yeah. all, all we're going to hear is. Well, that's fine. It's close to Wilson anyway. Go on, get out of your system. We'll fucking tip you backwards in a minute. <laughs> Throw you down the stairs. See like that. Tip your face. She tripped. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wilson's taking the big bump tonight. <laughs> so yeah, it was. Um, I think you both still angry with me about the Exorcist too. Mm. I mean, it's it's a long time before I'm actually going to value your opinion on anything. Right. I mean, it was deliberate. Which is bad. why you were a fucking groomsman, not a best man, to be fair, mate. Oh. Ah! I saw your note sheet in advance. I knew The Exorcist 2 was on there. I knew you were going to play that card. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, well, it's, I, mean, I would say it's all right, but like, you need to... Really sorry. Yeah. I'm just struggling for material. After the Exodus 2, to be honest with you, it's literally drained the life out of me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm starting from zero again. Have you got another pick lined up for your next two, your next choice, or are you? I have. Um, mm-hmm. But you see, you threw me in the previous episode when you said that my redemption arc would have to take up more than one episode. Absolutely. It's, it's 2018. It's all about the story arcs now. Yeah. So it might We're be... looking at about 10 episodes for you to get your shit straight. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, my tra- I think my trajectory on the, is on the upward this time. Do you know? I think we'll take a little little bop down for the next one, then we'll okay. come back roaring up with my one after that, which I've just <laughs> selected, actually, in the interval. Ooh. Um, not the next one, but the one after that. I've actually selected my next two now. Okay, there's right a man thinking way ahead. The old roller coaster, yeah. Rob, going yeah. up and down, the up and coaster. down. Yeah, I might even, not even still be here by then. Might have replaced me with Big Rich on a permanent basis. That's the plan. <laughs> you try getting a word in edgeways with fucking Big Rich doing a podcast with you. Me and him have been in them trenches. Yeah, yeah. Well, now you know how I feel. Oh, come on, oh, mate. Oh, oh, dear. All right, should we Here just shut up then? Fucking hard. Sorry. Let's just shut up. Yeah, Captain Hard Dunby over there. <laughs> Go on then. Oh, have I doing it now? Go on, Tremors 3 then. Hello, and welcome to my podcast starring me. <laughs> This week, we're reviewing Tremors 3, or Tremors Me! It's actually uh, Tremors 3 Back to Perfection. Yes. Give it its full title. Just like me. 
Right, you fucking Perfect. fired now. It's my episode again. Okay, That's great. it, you're done. Fantastic. I'm, I'm just going to sit back here with my chair. <laughs> Don't even sweet now, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, Tremors 3. So here was the plan. Mm-hmm. I thought... Last time wasn't my finest effort. Okay. You've seen this before, haven't you, by the way? Yeah, I've seen this yeah. before. I've seen the first three before. And I thought, what is really shit, but at the same time quite entertaining in a straight-to-video kind of way? Well, I was going to say you, but you're putting them straight-to-video, but... In... <laughs> Whatever, mate. Whatever. Go on, then. Let's go back to Cine Wrestle over there. <laughs> the Cine Wrestle podcast. Come on, then. The biggest heel in showbiz. On Absolutely. Jason takes his mask off. It's Shane McMahon. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like, Jason's mask just falls off. <laughs> you like the fucking. <laughs> we'll get to that one. You like the fucking Scott Steiner of this podcast. <laughs> what, what the, the vo- fuck? What on the voids? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Fair enough. He's just an angry man. Shouts profanities down a microphone. He's fat! Yeah. Jesus. What was that shit that Scott Steiner said in TNA <laughs> about maths? I am not getting into that now. I'm not getting into the that. You know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at small Joe, and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally if you go one-on-one with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beating me. And then you add Kurt Angle to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three-way at sacrifice... You got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 66 and two thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me and he's not even going to try. So, Small Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25% chance and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of winning if we used to go one on one and then add 66 and two thirds percent. I got a 141 and two-thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. See, Joe, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. It is one of the all-time great promos in Mm. wrestling history, Mm. I would say. Yeah. Anyway, Tremors 3. So, yeah, I went for a a little bit of a shit fun factor here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't do any worse than my last pick. So, technically, no. Well, statistically, no. Statistically, no. Numerically, no. Everything, no. So, familiarity-wise, what is your level of familiarity with the Tremors franchise, Chris Wilson? I've seen the first one a few times, and I think I've seen the second one. I think I have, yeah. Are you related to the producer? You're related to the producer, aren't you? What's that? He's the neo-Nazi twin brother we don't talk about, S.S. Wilson. S.S. Wilson, yeah. That's the one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think he directed the second one. I think he did, yeah, yeah. And then he just kind of produced the others. Just like, yeah. is, is a tenor. Off you go. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, yeah, sorry, Wilson. Before Dave so fucking rudely interrupted no. you. <laughs> that was it. Right, was that it? <laughs> that was <laughs> it. Right. Dave, what's your background with the Tremors franchise? How familiar are you? Pretty damn familiar. Right. Grew up on it. Did you did you smash this in some kind of mad session? I did do it, yes. Yeah, I watched, I think, five of them. Fuck, I haven't night. even seen any of the ones. Yeah, three. yeah. Number four is good. It's set in the Wild West. That's yeah. hilarious. Where Burt Gummer's kind of like, he's playing his ancestor and he's some sort of posh pacifist on a push bike in the desert. Yeah, which is obviously quite funny. And then he sells all his belongings and come back, comes back to the town with like this actual cannon. Yeah, and shoots a graboid in the face. That sounds fucking amazing. Dog shit CGI though kind of spoils it a bit. Well, speaking of, we'll get into that yeah. shortly. And number five is a bit of a fucking bloodbath. Right. Pretty satisfying. Lots right. of exploding graboids and shotguns. Excellent. Uh, what you want. Lots of African warlords just kind of throwing their weight in. There's an Apache helicopter at one point. Yeah. Driven by a guy in a Hawaiian shirt because standard. Fucking, because why not? Absolutely. Yeah. It's a great series. Yeah, it's, it, it is. Just, it just, the, the quality is, is rapidly declining and then goes back up for number five. Well, right. maybe four and five a bit. But they're all enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm beyond fucking devastated we're not going to ever see the pilot of the uh, reboot with Kevin Bacon in it. I do believe it's on the Pirate Bay. Is it on the Pirate Bay? Yes, I think there's a pirate release of it. Perhaps I will have to uh, pirate it. take. Then. Well, I'll, they're giving me no yeah. other option. I don't yeah. have an issue with piracy if the vendor in you, this you case... You do have the Burt Gummer miniseries from the mid-2000s. Yes, though. yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, think Nigel has a copy of that, along <laughs> with his Burt Gummer hat. I've seen like one episode of it. It's it's not that. Uh, no. <laughs> no. 
Anyway, fuck <coughs> it. Let's have a go at Tremors 3. Mm-hmm. First thing I noted, as soon as I took, switched this on, it's pure, pure early 2000s, late 90s, straight to video. Mm-hmm. Just perfection in its own way. Ooh, ooh, nice. Thank you, mm-hmm. thank you, thank mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, so we pick up with Bert Gummer, mm-hmm. our our lord and saviour. Fuck you and fuck Nicolas Cage. Uh, Sorry. My dad could have your dad. <laughs> Bert Gummer would fuck Nicolas Cage up. But anyway. <laughs> so it starts with Bert Gummer, who's in Af- uh, Argentina, hunting down graboids. He's now like a, like a freelance sort of killer of graboids mm-hmm. and... A graboid hunter, one might say. Yeah, and shriekers, mm-hmm. which is the second mm-hmm. stage of the graboid evolution, which mm-hmm. we're introduced to in the second film, mm-hmm. where they start walking. Mm-hmm. So we have a nice little sequence where basically... He leathers the fuck out of a whole shitload of the shriekers. Is this, is this where he's got an anti-aircraft <coughs> on the back of his truck? Correct, yeah. Hilarious yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the most unnecessary piece of equipment <laughs> in the history of unnecessary. Um, so that kind of reintroduces to Bert Gummer as a sort of hitman of, of graboids, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Or graboid hunter. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Um... This film kind of is the one that introduces Burt Gummer as the main man of the franchise, it, really. It's, it's literally a last man fucking standard yeah, scenario. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, Kevin is, Bacon's yeah. gone, Fred Ward's like, oh, no, this looks all right. That, that's a Panavision camera. They know what they're yeah, doing. Yeah. Uh, and then, he obviously, he saw it and he thought, you know what, I'm, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. I'm, I've got my money sort of yeah, thing. exactly. And in each successive film the remaining main character makes a quip about the other main characters fucking off and taking their money. Yes, quite. <laughs> quite, yeah. So how do we feel about the notion of Burt Gummer being the leading man now in the Tremors franchise? I mean, for me, he, he's gone from a side character that was funny and yeah. they're just, they are really fucking riding with the joke. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's absolutely fine yeah. for me, I think, because the, the two is a nice bridge into how it's transformed into more slapstick. Whereas the first one is just such a fucking tight creature feature. Yeah. It is so unbelievably tight and well made. Uh, and now we're in fucking clown shoes, silly bastards territory. Yeah. And I'm absolutely fine with it. It's all the original makers on board. So they're shitting in their own popcorn, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> so go for it. Willie? No, I'm perfectly fine with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's quiet, Willie, in this episode. Oh, dear. Someone's seething behind the eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so I feel a spicy take brewing, mate. Yeah, still still, still thinking about Linda Blair tap dancing. <laughs> this is the best film ever. Ten popcorn. Um, so we're quickly introduced to um, Diet Kevin Bacon, as he will be referred to for the remainder of this film. Kevin yep. Facon. Kevin Facon. Oh, it's good. You see, when he speaks, he fucking nails yeah, it, doesn't yeah, yeah. he? Yeah, Absolutely. It's God. a fucking nail gun to the heart, that. It's, that's like yeah, that yeah. bit in Final Destination 3, where the woman falls back and that nail gun shoots her head and pins her on onto her face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant Every stuff. well precise line from Wilson is just a stone cold stunner that you always wanted. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. It's crisp, refreshing. It's one of them stone cold stunners where someone has a drink and spits it out. Mm-hmm. The best kind, in my opinion. Oh, with a little flare of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shane McMahon was good at them, mm-hmm. particularly. And we're quite heavy in the rest, wrestling references at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, we're introduced to uh, Kevin Facon. Congratulations again. Um, in his, he's the twat in the hat, basically. Yeah, twat in the hat. I yeah, like that. Yeah. He's doing uh, some graboid <coughs> tours yeah. of the perfection area, which has kind of been turned into a little bit of a sort of really naff faux kind of something happened here once. Give me yeah, ten dollars yeah. to hear mm-hmm. about it, kind of shithole. I fucking love this. Yeah, the, the gift shop especially. <laughs> yes, the product. <coughs> That says, yeah, yeah, I put the crack pipe down. This little run in the gift shop says everything you need to know about the franchise at that point. Yeah. It's like, right, production designers literally spent 400 quid on all this stuff. Use everything. Just fucking <laughs> follow this person around, show off everything you've got. Cups, t-shirts, magnets. What's that down there? Is it litter tray? Is it branded? No, but show it off anyway. It's <laughs> so yeah. fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and we get sort of... It's fairly effective in these other few scenes because it doesn't introduce you to everyone quite quickly. Mm-hmm. So we get reintroduced to the uh, pogo stick girl and a mum from the first film. She is the lass from Jurassic Park, isn't she? She is, yeah. and it is the same. It is the same lass. Yeah, yeah. As, the, as the previous instalments. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah. Consistency. 
That's good, yeah. that. We get introduced, introduced to Walter Chang's daughter, who mm-hmm. is now taking over Walter Chang's supermarket, mm-hmm. R.I.P. Walter Chang. Mm-hmm. Um, we get reintroduced to... Um, oh, what's his name? The Mexican chap. Miguel. Miguel. Miguel's back as well. Miguel is... He's just one of the best characters in it. Constantly just at the edge of the frame, behind everyone else, just kind of like making shit suggestions. Yeah. What about a paper aeroplane? Silence. <laughs> <laughs> just making up useless shit. <laughs> one thing I do quite enjoy um, about the original Tremors, yeah. um, and it's kind of carried through in these sequels, mm-hmm. is that sort of delightfully twangy soundtrack. Uh-huh. Well, it's just like, it really gets across the idea that you are in, you know, but fuck nowhere. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the the two and three soundtracks are just so funky and danceable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I caught Eleanor doing a little booty wiggle to the music. Uh, I can make a dumb suggestion. Right, so we should name them. Let me think. Okay, last offers or butt launchers. That's better, huh? There you she go. was having a good time. It's a gem. Yeah. How do you feel about the soundtrack, Wilson? Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like this. <laughs> Something bad's going to happen, isn't it? You know, it's, it's like a build-up in Dragon Ball Z. He's you got, can just feel the energy just yeah. charging. He's got one note at a point in the film, and he's like, "Don't say anything." Save all your material for this moment, and then it'll just explode. He just says life. fuck on his page. Yeah. yeah. Fucking shit film. Hated every second. Rock and die. <laughs> um, yeah, so now we're nicely been reintroduced to everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, we get the girl from Jurassic Park, Bob's off mm-hmm. on a, a little little one of the graboid safaris, mm-hmm. I guess we could call it. Um, she's hanging out with the Kevin Facon again. Well done. And his, no, and his knobhead mate. Um, his knobhead mate, Metallica Jeff. Yeah, Metallica yeah, yeah. Jeff, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Metallica Jeff and Kevin Facon are um, kind of exposed by, well, exposed to us as the viewer as kind of faking all this mm. to us, the, the classic, it's like... fake. Yeah, classic, like, blowing dust in the air kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, but it is, it is cute. Yeah, it almost yeah. feels like that's what the effects team in the first one were doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It probably was, to be fair, because there's that shot <laughs> yeah, yeah. where it's from the point of view of the people on the tour, yeah, yeah. and it actually just does look exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, because you think it's real to start yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think it probably was just the guys on the crew squirting mm. bits of dust up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this time round, though, like the boy that cried wolf, mm-hmm. their faker, he gets them into trouble when a real graboid tips up. And we get the introduction of uh, CGI graboids. When is this tour going to be over anyway? You don't enjoy my company, huh? You know, a man could take offense at that. I assume that's what you've been building towards. Was the yeah. seat? No, I'm not building towards anything. Oh, I just, fuck. I'm not building towards anything. I'm just, just going to say nothing. <laughs> fuck him. It's Rob's episode. <laughs> yeah, you're on your own of his one pal. Oh, oh shit! You pal as well. Oh, fuck you okay, now. Oh. Right. Anyway, so what happens is a series of events take place. Graboids attack people. People get killed. Then they evolve twice. They get killed. Finn Wilson, popcorn and shit. <laughs> 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 he's not even taking the bait, mate. Yeah. No, he's, he's, he's really throwing really it. It's you. almost like he's deliberately trying to fuck my episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or he's legitimately upset about something, I can't tell. Yeah. I'm trying to think what I've said in the last hour. That I, don't know, I, am. I don't think I've done anything wrong. No. I think I'm okay. Oh, dear. So, um, 
Yeah, basically, Metallica knobhead mate gets Metallica tagged Jeff. out. Metallica Jeff gets yeah. tagged out. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> is this the f- point with the with the twat on the on the thing on the holiday shirt with the camera? Yes, and he tries to bully him for the camera. Yeah, that's right because he throws the camera to try and create a vibration mm-hmm. so they can all escape with their lives. And this mm-hmm. knobhead tourist like wants him wants him to pay for his camera, basically. <laughs> Fuck's sake! I found that fantastically. Uh, well, it's just Laurel and Hardy levels of humour, that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Slapstick shit. <laughs> yeah. Fucking slapstick shit is right. Um, so then we head back into perfection, and Kevin Facon, again, congratulations. Mm-hmm. Um, One might say they've gone back to perfection. Ah. Um, Got a response out of him, though. <laughs> yeah. He's telling everybody what's happened, and Bert Gummer decides, fuck it. It's time for a plan. Bitch killed Buford. I mean, things just, 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 boom, and he was gone. Things like the size of a whale. Yep, I've seen them. Bird, is it okay? Can we come down? Yeah, come on down. They're not close. You check the seismo monitor I gave you. Well, it's not working very well. I think the batteries are dead or something. Uh, come on, Bird. It's been what, eleven years? Yeah, Bert here. Talk to me. Hey, Bert, was that siren noise for real, man? Affirmative. No, man, genius. You on your roof? Damn right I'm on the roof. You check your seismo monitor and any graboid activity near your ranch. Bert, that aerial thing, it, it got bent, man. I, I've been meaning to fix it. Well, now it's all hands on deck, Miguel. So I suggest you bug out ASAP, maintain a steady speed on your truck, and report to HQ at Chang's. You copy that? Bert Gummer's been hiding out in his house at this point, hasn't he? I think. Yeah, he's basically been hiding out in his house, chilling his beans, you mm-hmm. know, preparing his weaponry. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's just popped into town for some gas or whatever mm-hmm. and happened upon Kevin Faken. And, and we do see at this point he's got a new concrete wall underground and a chain link fence above ground. Yes. Yeah. He's prepped himself, hasn't he? He's ready. He's ready for whatever <laughs> comes, or is he? Ah, <laughs> um, oh, finally, you've got all the swats you get in there. To point out... <laughs> I have literally had nothing to say so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm say that the whole town are, like, very prepared for, you know, this mm-hmm. events from, like, 10 years on, 11 years on, yeah, that yeah. They, they refer to. And so they've got the sirens, they've got the walkie-talkies. And mm-hmm. So at this time, everything seems to be going okay. But well, apart from already, they've all forgotten their seismic monitors. Already giving mm. indications that they're not that prepared. Yeah. You know, at any given time. Yep. Got lax. Yep. Bastards. So, but they've then... They've got remote control cars. Oh, they've got remote control cars, yeah. Oh, they're in the gift shop, aren't they? Yeah. Next to the Burt Gummer hats. Yeah, so this is Burt's <laughs> plan, isn't it? That he feels like there's there's urgency now, and they need to get out there and sort this shit out before they turn into shriekers. Mm-hmm. And that's when the shit really hits the fan, apparently. Um, and just in that moment, the um, classic staple of a film of this type, the knobhead fed cerner. Mm, them guys from Die Hard. Yeah, man. <laughs> they look like extras from the X-Files. Yeah, they do. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. These guys confuse me because they go from being clean cut and dickheads in the next scene, they're then completely dishevelled, covered in sweat with messy hair, begging for help. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then it yeah. goes back to, I don't know what's going on with those guys, and then they just fucking disappear. Well, they all get killed off, <laughs> don't they, past oh, the they? one guy yeah. who comes back covered in shaving cream. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is a very weird subplot that just gets dropped. Like, why is it there? Yeah. Yeah. It's very bizarre. <clears throat> it, it seems like they, they had an idea and was just changed the script a bit before. Nah, I can't be bothered. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a bit cliche, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I don't really... I'm, I'm assuming all of this is deliberate because it's the same writers as the first one. Mm. And the first one is just... Yeah, it, it's perfectly well written. There's no... 
there's no uh, fat and gristle on the first film. No, for sure. So I don't know whether this is... I don't know whether they're taking a piss or not, or whether they're just... They got bad. It almost feels like there was a scene of them getting taken out Mm -hmm. by the Graboids that was cut. Like, it's because it's just so weird how, like you say, well, they just appear, don't they? And yeah. And they just disappear again. And then we've just gone again with, like, one reference. I think also there's a bit of a problem coming up very shortly with one of the Graboids, and, you know, in order to have a good scene, you know, they kill it, then, but then they don't want to really have a bit where the Fed's going, like, oh, no, you shouldn't have killed that. Yeah, Because yeah. Graboids are endangered species. <laughs> yeah. You know? So they just thought, eh, yeah. We'll get him off screen. That'll yeah, do. Yeah. That'll okay. do it. yeah, yeah, let's mention it. Um, something else weird happens next. So speaking of weird subplots that are never really properly explained or explored, is Bert gets a visit from a graboid mm-hmm. at his compound, uh, an albino graboid, that for some reason seems to have some kind of connection or relationship with Bert. It was very free willy. Very free willy, yeah. But he kind of like... I was going Moby Dick, but... Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's white, isn't it? Yeah. It's a white graboid. Moby Dick. Moby. Maybe. Maybe. Was it white? Well, it's, it's that, referred to as an albino. Well in, in Moby Dick, yeah. Um, no, I mean the graboid. It was white. It's referred yeah. to as an, as an albino yeah. throughout the film. I didn't really pick up on the fact that it was special and it was white until about an hour and a half in, but yeah, yeah. apparently, yeah. I didn't even pick on pick up that, no. <laughs> it doesn't really look like it is until Bert Gummer says, it's an albino. Yes, it is an albino, and... Yeah, there's, it's, it's a reference to Moby Dick, but it's also quite a nice reference to um, Peter Pan and Hook. Yeah. Because the clock watch thing. And it uh, yeah, follows yeah. him around with the clock. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's got a weird watch, hasn't he, that sends yeah, some yeah. frequency to some tower to keep the time on time. Yeah, yeah, and it's explained later on. Spoilers, that's why it's following him all it's the time. A, it's a bit much for, you know, Tremors 3, isn't it's, it? There's a lot going yeah. on for Tremors 3, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Just a fucking long fucking film. Fucking kill well, something, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly, so there's a lot of faff um, before we kind of start to get to the real action. Um, basically, after the visit from the feds and the visit from the graboid, it's decided or agreed upon that they will tranquilise a graboid to satisfy the feds' curiosity. Mm. Um, so off goes uh, Kevin Facon and Bert to attempt this because um, they decide if they do what the military lots say, tranquilise one, send them off with it and they'll be out of their fucking hair mm-hmm. and the jobs are good and mm. uh, doesn't really work out particularly well. Doesn't do, does it, Rob? Well, no, they're interrupted, aren't they, by Dickhead Melvin. (laughs) 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 Eleanor was just kind of sat there like, I remember that voice from somewhere. Oh, God, he looks like a dick. Why does he look like a dick? Because he was a dick in the first film. Oh, God, he was. Yeah. (laughs) He's a right dick here anyway. Yeah, (laughs) he's scrubbed up, but he still looks like a massive cock. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, (laughs) Willie. But yeah, so to make things worse, not he was an annoying cock in the first film, but now he's an annoying salesman of ranchettes yeah. cock. Mm. Real estate wanker. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> because he's trying to like get everyone in perfection to sell up so we can, you know, make some sort of gentrified bloody yeah. town with a Starbucks in every corner. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the likes of Bert don't want to sell off. Uh, so... Uh, the, there's a graboid that appears and Bert just tells uh, dickhead Melvin he's got a 10 second head start <laughs> yeah ridiculous and like his logic is fucking skewed at best because he, he wants to turn perfection into some kind of hipster shithole with you know these fancy ranchettes and all that mm-hmm. shit but then at the same time says this place is a shithole I hated living here <laughs> it's like what so, <laughs> we're talking about hole when yeah, Ooh, basically, yeah. it's all in the desert, mate. Yeah, Hull, but in the desert. All leads. <laughs> Would you rather live in Grimsby or Hull? Ooh, that's a loaded question, isn't it? Well, I mean, a lot of people like Hull now. They, they say yeah, it's improved. It, it, Hull's got a lot better, and I had a drive around the outskirts uh, a few months ago, and it's actually bloody nice. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah some of it's all right. The only problem with Hull is you walk in any direction for half an hour, and you will go through any part of it that is worse than Grimsby itself. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not really. I, I'm not really particularly familiar with Hull. No, so or Grimsby. Like, I don't think you are. 
You've been once. Been once, yeah. yeah. That was enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw all the sights. I saw the I saw the the, the, the front bit, the seafront where there's the oil rig just off. off I don't think sure. that's there anymore. Is that not there anymore? No, it's, it's just a temporary anymore. one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that uh, there wasn't. Did you see our uh, famed football ground? Yes, yeah, been to a match. Yeah, that's why he was there. Yeah. 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 Did, yeah. did you have a good When when you was a good Mackies there. Yeah. Good Mackies. Yeah, when York and Grimsby were the same league. That one season. I had some birthdays in the McDonald's when I was a kid. Nice. It used to be an old cinema there. Really? Yeah, yeah it's all that down. Yeah. yeah. Replace it with McDonald's. That's gentrification for you. It is, yeah. Indeed, yeah. Tremors Indeed 3. Tremors 3, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> annoying cunt Melvin. He fucks off after having his tete-a-tete with Bert and Bert basically says, I'm not selling too much, I'll go away, Melvin. Mm-hmm. So he does go away. Um, <laughs> Cause and effect there. I like that good writing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Um, and not, not as... A moment after old Melvin's trail of dust settles, a graboid appears. A wild graboid appears. <gasps> and uh, eats Burke Hummer. <laughs> Fucking eat. Didn't see that's worth coming. No, no. Hum. Got him one. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. The big gulp, mate. Yeah. But then that radio technology that was referred to earlier comes into play when it transpires that Bert has been eaten in one. And thus is alive inside the Graboid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eating Jaws 3D style. Mm. Big gulps. Nom, That's nom, harsh nom. on Tremors 3, mate. It's a bit harsh. It is a bit, yeah. But, you know, just trying to explain how, you know, he wasn't bitten to death. Yeah, well, he true. Chewed yeah. up, mm-hmm. yeah. He was like, a, he was like one of them, um, you know, them paracetamol you can get with, like, the, the, the coating on them. It's like a, a sugar coating on them. Oh, yeah, just to make it go down easy. slip straight mm. down there. That's what happened to Burt Gummer. Yeah. Or it's like a... Duck eating bread. Yeah. Same thing. Just in one. But graboids and humans. Nice boating leg yeah. reference there, Willie. Thank you. <laughs> Lads. <laughs> you are got to catch me some crabs. No. The actual kind. Oh Not the other kind. Which are also technically actual. Trevor's three. Trevor's three. <laughs> Trevor's three. So, yeah. So, then... <clears throat> um, Kevin, Kevin Facon. He, uh... There's a high five. Yeah, they them. Solid. He uh, he realises that Bert is not actually dead, as Bert radios him from inside the graboid and says, "Drive like a bastard to my house, and we'll we'll use my uh, already established un- underground wall thing that he's built to yeah, take yeah. out said um, said graboid, which he does." Why are you rummaging around with that bin bag? Yeah, he's, not, he's, in, he's in a kit bag next to the bin bag thing. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. And what, what flavour is that? It's Luke. Heisenberg. <laughs> Heisenberg. Strong that. Um, yeah, so... How does he uh, retrieve Burt Gummer Wilson from the Graboid? Oh, with a casual chainsaw, you know. <laughs> lying around. Yeah, you know, like it is. Yeah, he uh, chainsaws him out with quite a lot of orange blood uh, yeah. everywhere as, as he does it. And uh, Mindy, I think it is, like, runs up like, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be, like, killing... Uh, the graboid, but then out, then he reaches in and grabs Bert out. And Bert's <laughs> alive and well, yep, and not starved of oxygen whatsoever, which is good. He's Just pretty handy. Whatever. He's pretty handy with that fucking chainsaw as well. Because one slip and you've cut Bert straight in half. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll say he's very, been very somehow precise <laughs> yep. in his uh, chopping up. So good for you, Kevin Facon. Yep, it's not at all established before that he's handy with a chainsaw either, so it's good that he has that skill. No, that but, nice, but I'll tell you, it? Uh, yeah. what has been established before is that he can barely drive a car <laughs> in, in a set route around a course. Yes. That's all we know about him. Yes, yeah, <laughs> chainsaw, fancy that. There we go. That's character <coughs> development for you. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of character development, or lack of therein, um, we we get the scene that we spoke briefly about before next, which is the uh, surviving military guy yeah. tips up covered in shaving cream um, and basically tells Bert and the gang that they've all been killed. Mm-hmm. And then he collapses. Yeah. Oh, just to establish, and this will come later on, Bert is that actually sprayed himself with fire extinguisher fluid to hide his thermal yeah, signature. To, to, to hide yeah, yeah. his uh, thermal, yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, as Dave says, thermal signature. Yeah. That's right, yeah, because and once they evolve to the next stage, yeah, they only can see heat. As mm-hmm. established in Big Trems 2. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen Tremors 2. The, three, the so sequence where they're hiding behind doors is pretty hilarious, and they're holding doors up. 
Yes. I'm running away. And then Bert Gummer says, ah, there's one between us and the car. I got this. And he shoots it with the biggest rifle you've ever seen. <laughs> and it goes through the graboid. Graboid explodes. Obviously, they get goo all over themselves, yeah. as is... As is Tremor's tradition. Series standard, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then there's this beautiful one-take shot. shows it's gone through a barrel, through a wall, through another barrel, <laughs> through a port and it's hit the fucking radiator in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, he he basically that's the end of the military presence, isn't it? Yeah. Um, bye bye. <laughs> um, and the gang then get jumped by another graboid and get stuck on a rock. So mm. It wouldn't be a fucking Tremors film if they didn't get stuck on a rock. Oh no, no. of course not. No. Um, but we've also quickly established apparently there's like six, seven, maybe even eight of these in the area now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's a lot of shit going on. Well, very, very rapidly. Yeah, considering there's, there's been nothing there for 11 years, they've all suddenly decided to yeah. turn up again. It's a little bit convenient. Yeah. Don't say it. I'm, I'm restraining myself, man. It's the other C word, it's fine. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, yeah. It's a bit convoluted. Oh, it's a bit mm-hmm. convoluted, like. It's a bit convoluted. <laughs> um, so, it turns out that it's our mate, the albino graboid, mm-hmm. that's. Uh, trapped him on this rock mm-hmm. it's just all a bit rocky <sighs> it's very it's very retready isn't it yes mate so shambles <sighs> very good very good very good yeah there's just so much going on it's just like there's your main plot, your characters sort of like intersecting with it now and again. One and step then there's in stone more. to another. One step in stone yeah. to can you just let me fucking build my plot up, please? <laughs> Thank you. Brick by brick here, yeah. Hey. <laughs> really yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. And then there's just like side plots and there's other shit going on, and then there's this Captain Ahab, Captain Hook shit going on. It's just It's sedimentary. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my dear Dave. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, we get then um, very quickly off the heels of this sequence of them being trapped and getting off the rock. Mm-hmm. Um, the unprecedented third stage of uh, graboid evolution comes up next. Mm-hmm. This shit fucking killed me when I was a kid. <laughs> like me and my mate Jimmer. And Joe Green and Connor used to watch these films when we were kids. And when we got to the third one, fucking hell, they slayed us every time. So the third stage of Graboid Evolution is the ass blaster. Yeah. Propelling itself into the air and into flight by the power of its flaming anus. Complete with a scientific explanation of how it does it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Which they got out of their way to do. It's like fucking burning the ground alien blood style. Oh, yeah. well, that must be the uh, how it creates its fire to blast off from its rectum. <laughs> Just an unnecessary level of scientific detail. Absolutely. It pays off later, though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. How do you feel about the ass blasters, Wilson? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a cunt now. Come on. Right, what do you sure. What do you think of the ass blasters? Yeah, don't be igneous, mate. Come on. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Um, it's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it basically declares at that point, yeah, this film's all being played for laughs. Although it's pretty obvious before and anyway, it's just like, yeah, yeah. there's nothing really on the line here. No. The village being chased by ass blasters. Yeah. <laughs> We're into Chuckle Brothers territory now, really. Is, yeah. yeah. Well, well and truly. Yeah. Well and truly. It, 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 if Chuckle Brothers, uh, uh, if Chuckle Vision was on at 7 o'clock at night, then there would be an ass blaster. On Sci Fi Channel. Yeah. On, on the yeah, Sci Fi yeah. Channel, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to me, to you. <laughs> it is kind of Sharknado territory, isn't it, in a sense? Um, Fartnado. Oh, strong. Ooh. Strong. Sharknado. Sharknado. Sharknado, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, you're in that kind of territory. It feels like it kind of knows that it's fucking ridiculous sci-fi channel level Uh straight to DVD. Sharknade poo. No, I don't work. Stop. (laughs) You were were doing so good. Yes, sir. You thought you'd come back for one more match in your 50s, didn't you? Yeah. And how'd that, that work out? Knock someone's mask off and broke your nose. Truly heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> Tremors 
three. Oh Gems shit! Three. Oh shit! Sorry, I only just got that. Oh come on, Dave. <laughs> catch oh, up. Even I got there before you. Oh dear. Fucking hang your oh. head. Ah dear me. Tremors three, sir. Something terrible happens next in this film. Something truly, truly terrible happens next. Miguel gets it. Miguel does get it, yeah. Mm. Would you like to offer a, a eulogy for Miguel from Tremors? <sighs> he loved that little tractor. <laughs> <laughs> he loved that little tractor on those little cowboy boots. It and is. he did send that tractor off in the first film. Yeah. Um, and the grab boy did follow it all over because he liked that little noise. He loved that tractor. <laughs> God. I shouldn't have taken that shot. Should have shot sooner. How could you know it was going to take off like a goddamn rocket? Jack, give me your walkie. Nancy, Mindy, Bert here. Come back. Yeah, Bert, we're here. Nancy, listen, they um They killed Miguel. He's gone. Oh, oh my god, no. What, Miguel? Oh, no. It's fucking emotional shit, man. It's pretty upsetting. I mean that's that's mm. another one of your core cask on. Yeah. Who's next, Mindy? <sighs> Hope so. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> him, him and Walter Chang. The two deaths in the Tremor series that get me, man. Walter Chang's pretty savage. Oh, mate, poor Walter Chang. Mm-hmm. Isn't Minion a mum hiding in a cardboard box at this point? Christ. Yes, on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> Almost like a, a bet to see if, what's the most stupid thing the crew can wind them up to do. Yeah. Do you want to spend the rest of the film in a cardboard box? <laughs> well, we missed this bit, didn't we? We missed this bit as we rushed through. Sorry. Um, they got radioed, the, the guys radioed them to say, look, they've evolved. They track by heat signature, so you need to get somewhere where they can't see your heat signature. Mm-hmm. So their answer to that is, we're going to go in a cardboard box together on a roof on its side. What didn't wasn't there like a duvet available? Like, I know, right? I know. Scary. It's, uh, Even better that the roof of the building they're on, and this will come in fairly shortly, mm. does contain a chiller. So they could have just gone there in the first mm. place and saved yeah. themselves the trouble. Yeah. Oh, can we just go indoors? Yeah. I thought about that, but then the graboids come up through the floor, don't they? So you got to get on the roof and you got to hide your heat signature. But the box is fucking comedy gold. Yeah. Yeah. Just I mean, cuts sh- back every now and again and it's just like <laughs> camera shooting straight down the barrel of this box. Fuck's <laughs> sake. Um, so, yeah. Onwards from there we go. So they have the, uh, the battle with the uh, ass blaster at the supermarket because they're basically one of my favourite bits of the film favourite lo- little shot of the film is they're, they're on the radio talking about them and they're in a little cardboard box and in the background you just see this ass blast coming towards them coming towards them and it just fucking bashes straight into the cardboard box <laughs> sends them flying <laughs> like a cat brilliant. with a paper bag mate yeah mate exactly the same <laughs> so they eventually basically it goes through the, sends them through the ceiling back into the supermarket where they have a bit of a Bit of a bit of a barroom brawl, really, mm-hmm. yeah. with the ass blaster, and do the logical thing and get in the chiller. Oh, don't they throw some gammon at her as well? Oh yeah, she puts a bit of gammon in the microwave. Because <laughs> 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 of the heat signature, which is fucking genius. And her mum, who's a knobhead, is like, "What the fuck are you doing?" She's like, "Fucking heat, dickhead!" <laughs> she loves this gammon. I think complete with pineapple ring around it, yeah. <laughs> like proper comedy, like who's uh, dinner? Ding, wing. <laughs> superb, superb. Oh, and there was also an awful CGI sausage. That's why. Yeah, as I was eating it all away. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. There's, I mean, let's... Why were you CGI in a sausage? <sighs> CGI is new, isn't it? Yeah, the original <laughs> must not have performed. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, let's take a second, maybe, to stop at this stage and and have a little bit of a chat about the CGI. You love that little tractor. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so it's not great, is it, the CGI? I mean... <laughs> it, is, it, it, um, it is what it is. What, what year was this film released? 2001. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's when that's when expensive CGI looked like CGI yeah. and cheap CGI. Well, fucking hell! Not yeah. like this. If this yeah. was very Blade Two, you know, we have yeah. a bit of a blood and all that. Lot. I was going to say Blade Two on the PlayStation Two, but okay. Yeah. Oh, what was it first Blade? That was terrible. No, I think it was Blade Two. I think. Yeah, first one was mostly practical. Yeah, Blade Two was the slightly hacking. Yeah, one, yeah. with uh, all the light thing that didn't work. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or maybe a bit alien free. I don't know. Well, with those, that, that bit is awful CGI in it. I'm just glad that we we did this film after Jaws 3, where the bar for any kind of visual effects was set at such a low Absolutely, level that yeah. anything mm. else would never yeah. ever plumb those depths. That's what this film's missing. It's missing a couple of jaw bones like flying up towards the screen, going. Hello. Yes, just rotating on a perfect axis. Yeah, yes, right. please, give me more Rotating of that. like going, hello. If you could just combine yeah. the two. Like, this is an infinitely more enjoyable viewing experience Absolutely. than Jaws 3. Uh, Tremors 3D. Oh, should have been. Should have been. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It comes out every now and again really unwanted. Um, but there's Tom Woodruff Jr.'s effects team are on this, who were behind the Monster Squad. And the physical effects in Alien 3, like the alien suit and stuff. Yeah. So it's a fucking good team. And some of the little screechers, uh, shriekers, sorry, yeah. they're still fully animated puppets yeah. when it's like a mid and close up. And they look really fucking good. Yeah. Like amazing puppet work. Uh, but just. Just fucking put a man in a green suit or something while he's operating the puppet. You don't need to. Like animate the ground around it and stuff, and it's all yeah. just really shit. The CGI is pap. It's spawn levels of shit. Yeah, it's just when I always look at the feet of things against the ground. <laughs> yeah. And if you look at the feet against the ground and this, it ain't fucking looking good, lads. Yeah. When the shadow disappears now and again. Oh, fucking yeah. hell. Mwah. Not great. Very 2001 bottom end kind of <laughs> material that we're looking at here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, back into it, I guess. Back to perfection, mate. Back to perfection, mate. So the next little sequence is um, our merry gang, fake Kevin Bacon. Um, What's he called? Kevin Bacon. Uh, yeah. The actual character name. No, no, I just wanted him to remind himself. How what, what's the actual character name? Jack. Jack. Yeah. Nah, stick with Kevin Bacon. Yeah, keep, keep <laughs> Kevin Bacon, Jody, and Bert. Yeah, so they... Um, Basically, try to get to get back to Bert's hmm. uh, by shielding their heat under a mattress. Yes, turns out mattresses are cold blooded. Who's that? Mm. Springs yeah. in it. Yeah, there we go. Cold springs. Yeah. You ever got in a mattress? Yeah, well, not in a mattress. <laughs> Have you ever got into bed and you've not had your heating on? Yes. Fucking cold. Yeah, cold. Mate. Freezing. Coldest part of the house. Mattress. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the coldest part of the Nevada desert though? Probably. If it's the coldest part of my house, it's the coldest yeah, part of that desert. Yeah. The Nevada desert's hot, mate. Yeah. Yeah, does it does beg the question with them being in a baking hot desert mm. of how good would their vision be? I mean, they're desert animals, aren't they? Yeah, but it, it heat's relative, isn't it? Though. Yeah, but it, I mean, like snakes get up. Yeah, they can do fine, can't they? In the desert, they hunt in the desert. Well, of course, yeah. I mean, they literally shoot fire out of their asses. I don't think heat's a problem. Yeah, you're man. right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm, I've, I've, I've looked for logic there is what I've done yeah. um, you're trying to make tried- yourself come across as more intelligent than you are after the Exorcist 2 mate <laughs> no he's, he's just taking inspiration from Scream to where his film studies classes <laughs> yeah that's it basically I'm just trying to overanalyze everything <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll overanalyze next the fact that as soon as they get to Bert's one of the ass blasters fires over the top of all of Bert's defences <laughs> seemingly he, this has really thrown him a curveball <laughs> <laughs> and they basically you know, Casa del Bert is breached. Yes. Which is silly, you I mean, surely in everyone's contingency plan for anything you do, you've got to think about dragons that shoot fire out of asses. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. 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 Air attack, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's the basic thing that you yeah. look out for. Yeah. 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 It's in our company's insurance policy is, is ass blasters and air attacks. You know, you've got to... Yeah. You've got to fucking yeah. legislate for that. Absolutely. You do, yeah. Three metres high on your lights, that's it. Yep. No higher. That's it. Um, so they have a bit of a rumble... <laughs> Lots of rumbling going on, to be honest with you. Um, and basically, 
the rumble ends up in, in Bert's basement mm -hmm. and the, um, the ass blaster is using its ass blasting powers to melt the door into the basement mm -hmm. and um, they realise that if it gets in it's going to eat all his food and some fucking mad shit will happen because... ongoing joke about his food rations yeah ongoing joke about mm -hmm. his food rations and also it, <laughs> it's alluded to earlier a previous incarnation of the graboids if you feed them mm -hmm. then bad shit happens mm -hmm. they they multiply like gremlins after midnight exactly yeah, the yeah, same yeah, as yeah, that yeah, it's yeah, almost yeah. like the idea mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> so they think oh Bert thinks oh fuck can't get my supplies that's bad times mm -hmm. so he sets a little petrol trap mm -hmm. and then they all go through the escape chute blows his entire gaff to smithereens uh, and then he was told on the radio that feeding him actually fucks him up because makes him the, go to sleep the next one in the supermarket that ate the gammon has now collapsed Try me. You know those fly streakers? We, we got one. Well, actually, it almost got us, but you know how we got it? Food. It ate half the food in the store. They eat enough, they go into a complete food coma. No, no, no. They multiply. No, Bert, they don't. Just feed it. Give it all your MREs. Bert, do you copy? Bert? Bert? Uh, Bert's not available at the moment, but thanks for the update, Nancy. What kind of supreme being would condone such irony? <laughs> ah, dear. <laughs> Bert Gummer's not happy with this, is he? No, he's not. He's, he's not he's, happy at all. He looks just so... done. <laughs> <laughs> he's a broken man at this point, to be fair. I mean, imagine if you, this place got blown up, Dave. You're a nice little display case with all your nice little video games in it. Yeah, yeah. Your laser discs. Mm. Your yeah. records should be fuming. Uh, I'm pretty upset, yeah. Especially if it turns out that, you know, if they eat the records, they fall asleep. Yeah. yeah. If I'd have known that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's a bit like, you know, you could have fed it your Kit Kat Senses mug and everything would have been okay. Yeah, don't know about that. That's a pretty nice mug. Yeah, it's a good mug. Yeah, you don't want to waste that, do you? What about this one that I've got here? Tea Time. That could go. Yeah, I definitely can. What about my Java's hey, Towers mug? Do you want to see the most Sheffield mug ever? Oh, Jesus. I haven't got me that as a leaving present. It's quite cute, that, aren't they? I like that. Yeah, that tea time mug was bought in one of those places where you can, like, buy, like, wall pictures that just says love on it. And oh, the all, little all, all rustic that. hanging things on yeah. chains that say uh, love, live. Sainsbury's, mate. Home sweet home and oh, all that bollocks. Yeah, yeah. Sainsbury's, so, yeah. You'd be right. You don't have to be mad in this house, but it helps. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah excellent. Brilliant. Don't have to hate the world. Tremors 3. <laughs> yeah, Tremors 3. Um, so there's four ass blasters left. Correct. And a big white graboid. Yeah, which kind well, of gets forgotten about really, yeah, for a while yeah. at least. Well, we'll forget about it for now. I'm sure it'll be appear at some point. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so the fire attracts all the remaining ass blasters quite conveniently to the same location. Mm -hmm. Um so they all leg it to the junkyard where there's most places to hide. And what follows is quite a bit of fucking about in a junkyard, really. Mm -hmm. Well, if there's the weird <laughs> bit where they all get into a speedboat but on land. Yes. Yeah. And roll their way down. And they roll their way down and crash into a billboard for the new housing estate. Callback. Funny. Yeah. 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 And it's funny because the dickhead from the first film who's building housing estate is still fucking them by putting his billboard in the way <laughs> to where they're trying to get to. Mm. <laughs> and it isn't like all this next bit, the ground zero for this new estate as well. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh, I wonder what's going to happen here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I, I wonder if all of his plans are going to you know, go up in smoke or perhaps fire. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, See what I did there? I, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> so they get into the junkyard yep. and they've got no weapons. Yep. So they decide to fashion 
uh, an improvised potato gun type situation um, using bits and bobs of scrap mm -hmm. and some sharp objects they found and a little bit of fire. They basically create a harpoon gun. I do like that this is Nesta's trailer from the first film. You know, yes. you know the guy that gets sucked through the tire? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's his trailer. And then they can't find any booze to like, light the fire in this thing. It's like, it's Nesta's trailer, I'm sure there's some in here somewhere. And they just open the first cupboard and there's a fucking bottle of booze there. Yeah. <laughs> like ten years after he's dead. Stunning. <laughs> Stunning. Um, so, Call yeah. back. Call back. Um, so, the, uh, the potato launcher type thing works to quite impressive effect mm. and they mm. managed to tag out a couple of the old uh, ass blasters mm -hmm. so they're basically stabbing them with this flaming stuff that ignites all the the gubbins inside them yeah mm. so they just explode in fantastic fashion with orange goo everywhere yeah oh. how are you feeling about this level of explosiveness Dave I'm quite happy to be honest it's, it's, it was quite a tense scene almost <clears throat> yeah 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 especially when one gets on the roof oh yeah fucking hell oof I think my favourite kill of them all is the one where, um, what's her face? I keep forgetting her name. Jody. Jody. Thanks, Willie. Um, Sorry, though. Gets, is in the cargo container and she climbs out the back mm -hmm. and the ass blaster gets stuck and she shuts the door and basically it just fucking explodes <laughs> in this <laughs> container. <laughs> fucking brilliant. Um, She's like, six about that, like, he's going to use it in a minute. He's going to use his yeah. ass blaster. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Eat shit. Fucking <laughs> fabulous. Eat fiery, fiery shit. Um, so, yeah, it's a little bit... It's a, it's kind of fucking a bit silly, isn't it? I know, that's kind of an oh, obvious, yes. yeah, obvious yeah. criticism, <laughs> but someone has to say it at some point. Um, they are actually called ass blasters. Yes. <laughs> it is a bit silly. It's <laughs> marvellous at the same time. Um... Yeah, so everything sort of seems right enough in the world. Um, but we all done forgot about the albino graboid. Mm -hmm. It makes a bit of a comeback. Um, and this is where we find out that he's been tracking Bert by the ultrasonic Scooby-Doo fucking weird watch thing that mm -hmm. he's got on. Um, and it's, it, it all kind of gets a bit messy here. Where Bert's basically caught up in the springs of a mattress mm -hmm. on the floor that it's just trying to cut him out of and the last ass blast is kind of coming to get him mm -hmm. um, but then they use the they throw the watch on the ass blaster with a massive roll of gaffer tape <laughs> massive roll of gaffer tape <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then it just gets fucking tagged out <laughs> by the graboid which kind of like I just is what it is isn't it I suppose yeah yeah I think that graboid just goes off and does its own thing doesn't it yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. yeah, it just mooches around. They decide that in order to stop uh, dickhead fucking, whatever his name is, the kid from the first film, building his houses, they keep the albino alive. Melvin. 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 He Melvin. Like a dick, doesn't he? It's a good name for a hamster. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yes. Um, you can give hamsters old man names. That's, that's the rule. <laughs> Melvin. They kill. They keep that. They decide to keep the albino alive, mm -hmm. so that it's kind of a protected species, which means he can't build these mm -hmm. fucking shit boxes. Mm. They make a quip about it at some point of being passive, like it's not an aggressive one. Yeah, but obviously they just used it to kill. Yeah, the, yeah, the exactly. Blaster, but whatever. Yeah, and obviously they use it as part of a little theme park thing going mm -hmm. on as well. Come, yeah. come see the, the, the ass blaster. There's like a little ring around it as well. So yeah, you, you can stand. Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can stand near the fire, but you're not going to get tested <laughs> yeah. by it. Yeah, and it's kind of like little wrap-up sequences of uh, Kevin Faken mm -hmm. going off with uh, Chang's daughter into the distance in the jeep for a quick rummage. For a quick rummage, nice. Yeah, suggested rummage. Um, yeah, the rummage is implied. Will he settle down? Keep rummage. those trousers yeah. on. <laughs> Nobbed, Nobbed Melvin gets his comeuppance um, when. He tries to convince Bert to sell again, and Bert traps him on a rock <laughs> and leaves him there like the twat he is. Um, and it kind of wraps everything up in a fairly neat little bow at the end. Jesus Christ, Bert! I thought you killed all those things. I never said that. Come on, man, kill it! Blow it up! What are you waiting for, Bert? 
thing is, as long as one of these reptilians is still alive, this whole area is deemed protected. You know, pursuant to Section 1472B of the Endangered Species Act, in other words, no houses, no condos, no grand checks. You're crazy. Okay, these things, man, they're gonna... They're gonna eat you, Bert. They're gonna... They're gonna get all of you. We got new geo phones, graboid barriers, blanket protection. The whole town agrees. Between you and El Blanco, they'll take him every time. Adios, Melvin! <laughs> Don't know what they're going to do for the next squeakle. Oh, well, they might go back in time. Ah, origin story. Origin story. No. Nice. <laughs> Fifth one in space. <coughs> oh, South Africa. Sixth one in space. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Have you seen that? It's not, oh, is it not out yet? Which one? Sixth one. Oh, God, no, I haven't. I forgot that. That's, I have a marathon of five. That's new, new, isn't it? Yeah, like real new. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Be worth a watch, won't it? Yeah, I'm sure it will. <laughs> So that, in so many ways, mm. was Tremors 3. Trez, mate. Tremors Trez. Tremors Trez, back mm. to perfection. Mm-hmm. Look, I enjoyed it, to be honest. I enjoyed it as well. Willie? I thought it was boring. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're dumb as well. Spicer Willie! Spicy Willie. Spicy. Oh, oh, that's spicy. God damn. Ooh, that's spicy. Mm, the Godfather of Hot Cream was the best. The fog was boring. I prefer the remake. Ooh, spicy. Mm, mm. Willie style. Controversial Willie strikes again. Mm, mm. Right off. That's spicy, that is. The man that picked Jaws 3 <laughs> thought it was boring. The man who sat well, through the Exorcist 2. Jaws 3 is my fault, apparently. Mate. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah you did. Because yeah. he blames no, it, nothing's Wilson's fault anymore. No, no, here you no. go. Forcing me to play Russian roulette. Yeah. And then blaming me when I get my brains blown out. Yeah. It's not very fair, is it? So, come Shut on, should pull the trigger then. We shouldn't attack Wilson. We should give him the opportunity to explain his stance. You on snowflake! <laughs> so Wilson, <laughs> tell us, tell us a little bit more about your feelings on Tremors Three. You've been such a cook about it. You're wrong, but <laughs> no, but I, I, I would never dare say such no. things to Chris Wilson anymore. <laughs> He's got hench now. I have, dear. <laughs> um, I just couldn't really get into it, if I'm being honest, mm-hmm. and. The fact that I couldn't really find anything to say at the beginning of this episode wasn't because I was being a cunt. It was because I just couldn't find anything to say. Uh, yeah, it was just uh, one of those films, and you get it in, in a while, where I just couldn't find any sort of grip or handle mm-hmm. on it, and I just... You uh, just it, wanted to be doing something else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's fair, though, isn't it? it You've all been in that situation. It was just one of those where I was just staying on the screen, and, uh, okay, like, the things like the Asperasters and, you know, the bloody gamming in the microwave or, or, or actually you know it's a bit of fun but as far as the whole thing goes um, it's, it's just a bit disappointing after what we tried getting with like this sort of weird universal studios mm-hmm. but it's perfection all that mm-hmm. lot but yeah. it sort of gets forgotten for just yeah, yeah. a lot of retreading for w- w- what we've done before yeah it's yeah, a solid sure. 15 minutes where they're playing on the comedy of like the theme park idea yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And remember, there's that bit where we get stuck on a rock for a while. It's just like, well, we've done this all before. Mm-hmm. And yeah, can't get into it. No, Spicy sake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fair. yeah. It, 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 there's a lot of retreading, but without the pace of the original, mm-hmm. which is an issue. And you do feel it really fucking dragging at points. Yeah, I, yeah that's the other main thing as well. Yeah, it's just <clears throat> the original had such like an, an energy to it, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. that you can't help but like it was yeah, it just yeah. seems to be missing here for whatever reason whether yeah. or not it's just like the story or maybe even down to the editing of it or mm-hmm. something you know yeah. it just wasn't there mm-hmm. what were you Dave what are you saying uh, 
it's shit, but I did enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, I eased myself into it with Tremors 2 and then watched this. Right. So, like, the the bridge was there for me to sort of readjust, gear yeah. shift, and just... I knew I was in for a funny time. I've seen it before, but I knew I was in for some bants. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> There's not any particular presence to hold you into the film. No. I think Burt Gummer is quite charming, quite funny. Uh, but he's still playing himself as uh, <clears throat> just a, a bit part almost. Yeah. Even though he's in the front lines now. Yeah. Kevin Facon, I, I can't even remember what he looks like. Which I suppose is what he was there for. Yeah. Um. Really like the gift shop stuff. Yeah, the gift shop yeah. stuff is nice. I yeah. like some of the practical effects. Don't like the CGI, but like, what are you going to do? It's 2001, we got no money. Yeah. Um, I think it's a good time. Yeah. If, if you're going to have a marathon of the Tremors films, that's probably the way to do it. Yeah. Is to just watch them, just take this course from being absolutely incredible to, what, 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 what? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. They do go off on a mad tangent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did you think, Rob? I think it's a difficult one, because I think... Um, Dear me. <laughs> no, he's really salty. What the fuck's wrong with him? Do you want me to go get you another fucking pizza? I need a coffee, I don't know that much. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Sleeping, you know, yeah. really. Um, so, yeah. Squeak. I think um, <laughs> the pro- the problem with it is the Burt Gummer character's not a leading character. And it needs... The film needs a foil. And I think that's what yeah. Kevin Facon was supposed to be, but it doesn't have the charm of... Any of the original characters doesn't have mm. that presence or that charisma. I think no. that really harms it. No, he's just a bit of a knobber. Really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's kind or a of jobber. Oh, hey, hey. Nah, just a knobber. Oh, oh my god, no, Jesus! All right, um, it's hard work tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so it's kind of it does have a little bit of something missing as a result of that. Yeah, yeah. But it is B movie fun. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, mm-hmm. um, I do consider it to be sorry, Wilson, as entertaining as any of the Sharknado films. Um, oh, you, yeah. In my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, and I think it's it's a good it's a good crack if you're on board with it and you, and you yeah, kind yeah. of prepared for it. And yeah. I think maybe you probably watched it the right way as part of a, a sesh. I think watching it in, on its on its own and also probably. doing something else does help. Yeah, I mean, I've, I, it, it 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 is hard to focus on the whole time because yeah, it, it does is, feel yeah. very long. I don't know what the runtime is, but it feels ninety like minutes. It's ninety minutes. It yeah. felt two hours ten, mate. Yeah, I mean, I kind of I zip, felt like I zipped through it a bit, but I was drinking, um, <laughs> so you know, and I did I did consciously realise, and I think it was very interesting actually that that Wilson didn't say much for the first sort of 20 minutes of the film mm-hmm. because I didn't make many notes for the first 20 minutes of the film either. Um, I was kind of sat there and I, I, really, I looked at my notepad and I was like, I've not really wrote anything yet. Uh, I better start writing shit down because <laughs> uh, this is my episode and my responsibility to try and uh, push it forward. Well, so you know you don't stuff. really kind of take your responsibilities seriously when it's your pick. Well, you see... <laughs> I feel like that this is the beginning of an upward trajectory, although my next pick... I, to be honest, I don't give a fuck what you think anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to go and pick what I want now. Um, as, as far as the upward thing goes, it's very... Uh, slight. Slight thing going on. Rome wasn't built in a day, Wilson. The best... The best yeah, it was built quicker than this, the, the best. No, it was, this is one episode. The best redemption story starts slow. And build to a crescendo. Yeah, Look at yeah. Eddie the Eagle. Julius Caesar didn't get stabbed in the back now. Yeah. yeah, well, you know. And Eddie the Eagle came last. Dead last. He did, but he, <laughs> fact, he won the hearts and minds of his peers, um, which is, you know, what life's all about. It's Dave's pick next. <laughs> you got to do no, shit and popcorn. Yeah, we got to do turns of <laughs> no, popcorn. No, we don't. It's a non-contender, isn't it, Rob? Wilson, <laughs> lather your shits and popcorn. Turds. Right, turds, I'll go with a five. Okay, oh, really? that surprises me. Okay, yeah. it's yeah. more than what I'm going to yeah. do. It, okay. <laughs> same, same. Yeah, it was... What film are you watching? Fine, yeah, I guess. Are you going to go for a five-five? Yeah, I'm going to go five-five. Oh! Yeah. I, I, I've reached Willie. Mediocre. Yeah. Mediocre! It's just... 
That's actually I, I more wa- generous than I thought you were going to be. Yeah, here. I watched it. It was there. I kind of had a sneaking yep. feeling Wilson would like it. It's just, it's just... I had a sneaking fun. I don't know why. I, had a fun I don't like fun. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's that you like you like fun in a certain way. And, <laughs> and Tremors 3 just isn't maybe for you. In a certain way. Like in a non-Tremors 3 kind of way. Okay. What's up with him? I hope he's going to be fucking No, hot. you're both as bad. You're patronising him. I'm not patronising him. Yeah, this is the worst first date I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Day of shit and popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a solid seven turds, I think. Right, yeah, Absolutely. Fair. The CGI fair. alone gives it five points of them. Yeah. Uh, popcorns, I'm going to go with a seven as well. So yeah. five, five, seven, seven. Okay. It's a random mix, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It, it's, yeah. Is it sweet or is it salty? What do you uh, I think they've accidentally just given me neither. <laughs> it's like the, the starburst of popcorn, except instead of strawberry, you get shite. Yeah, you see, strawberry starburst is the best, in my opinion. Yeah. Mm. It, I'm it, putting it, off giving my it, scores. It, it's, it's lemon, it's lime, and it's shite. <laughs> it, that, that means starburst. Is, is strawberry your favourite starburst, would you say? Oh, yeah, because I'm a human being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the person whose favourite starburst isn't. A strawberry, yeah. honestly. I missed the lemon ones before they fucking pussied out. Don't do them anymore. They haven't done them for fucking years. They went lime, didn't they? Oh, the limes oh, replaced yeah. the lemons. I thought we did lemon and lime that one. I didn't quite like the lemon. Oh, I've not seen a lemon starburst in years. Oh, was that opal fruits? Yeah, that was the yeah. back in the day when it was proper. I distinctly remember what the lemon tastes like. My mouth waters every time I think of it. Ah, oh, so good. So distinct. Bring them back. <laughs> Bring them back if you're listening. Make starburst great again. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Anyway. Get your shovel. Oh, I don't want shovel to. It out. Why is it because it's one ten? Turds. Is it the best film Turds. ever? Turds. Nine. Oh, shit. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, my goodness. Because it is fucking shit, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, my days. That <laughs> shut you the fuck up, Let me it? get my water wings and Lilo fucking up howling and shit here. <laughs> no, it is, it is a shitter, guys. Come yeah, on. I know it is. Yeah, you yeah. know, it yeah. is. And, but you know, not in a... Good way, in a rather. I think in a kind of good way. In a kind sort of good way. way. I don't know. Popcorn seven. What was wrong with that? Nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I enjoyed it. Isn't I it? had an all right time with it. I, I do. Right I do. I do. Though the more we discussed it, I do take on Wilson's point. I do see where you're coming from. It's kind of one of them where you're either on board or you're not on board. Mm. Don't look at me like that, you smug little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's on my side. Yeah. <laughs> it's very smart, hey, it? I'm just trying to keep him happy because I think he's going to kill me. Maybe his redemption story is going to happen after all. I told you, slow build, mate. Yeah. Slow build. Going at a different angle. Yeah. Uh, working on us personally instead of, by giving, instead of giving us good films. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, and yeah. then the good films will start coming in. It's going to be like the Miz's career in the WWE. You know, everyone fucking thought he was absolute fucking dog fodder. <laughs> he had to get changed outside of a locker room. Yeah, exactly. That's me. I am the Miz of this locker room. Oh fuck me! Don't lash yourself to the cross. He just made some <laughs> bad choices. And then I will, I will beat John Cena at WrestleMania one day. All right? <laughs> it well, will happen. Yeah, in the worst main event ever. Well, you know, I mean. Let's not speak too soon. It's not the last WrestleMania ever, is it? There's going to be worse to come, I'm sure. Yeah. Next year. Oof. I'm sure that'll have some uh, humding, some hummers, even. I thought this year's WrestleMania was fucking gashtacular. Oof. Yeah, I thought you were going to say it was gashton. No, it was one of the worst ones I think it's I've that. seen in years. There's not been any good ones in, like, four years now. 31 was an absolute yeah, fucking meat feast. Yeah, 31 was the last one, yeah. The rest of them since then can all go fuck themselves. Yeah. If you're listening to Intimate Man, regular listener. Anyway, I suppose I better wrap this up now. So, thanks very much for listening. I've been Rob. Well, we're going to say what the next episode is. Oh, does not even over format. So much for the redemption. Well, it's because you've been deliberately fucking fucking with me for the entire episode, and now I've been completely thrown. Sabotage Willie. Sabotage Willie is exactly what he's done. Dave, it's you next. What have you got for us? <laughs> It's forgotten. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, fuck. Now I remember, yeah. Zombie 2, right? Zombie oh, flesh eaters. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, it's Zombie 2 slash Zombie Flesh Eaters slash Zombie. Slash, is it a sequel? Yes, is it a sequel or isn't it? In Italy, it is. Illegally so. 
we're going to count it. It's a debate for next time, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah, yeah. So if I make a sequel to uh, Tremors and just say it's Tremors, I'll, I'll call it Tremors with a, a U in it, French spelling, Tremors. Oh, Tremors, yeah. yeah. Tumors. Uh, tumors. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different film altogether. <laughs> Sounds uh, like a Cronenberg film. That's my unofficial sequel right there. Right. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Well, now you can do the goodbyes. Thanks. So it's bye from me. It's bye from Chris. <laughs> bye. <laughs> it's bye from you, Dave. It is bye from me. Bye. Bye. <laughs>don't forget you can follow us and keep up with all our updates uh, regular updates possibly maybe hopefully if wilson gets his arse in gear uh, at cinemotry on twitter forward slash uh, cinemotry on facebook and of course at cinemotry on instagram i don't know how you do pictures of podcasts but we're going to do that anyway 